Here are some live pictures from a polling station in Beirut. Our correspondent Zena Hoddert spoke to voters in the Lebanese capital about the issues that matter most to them. Lebanon has had a turbulent history, to say the least. But decades of corruption and unsustainable spending by successive governments has led to its financial collapse. Parliamentary elections are scheduled for Sunday. It should be a chance for political change. But the sectarian leaders and parties that have governed this country for decades are seeking to return to power. They will win because they are the authority. They are ruling the country. They are organizing the elections. They benefit from the laws and they have arms. Public sentiment may have turned against them, but these leaders still command loyalty for ideological and sectarian reasons, despite the inability of the state to provide services. We have trust in them, and that is why we will vote for them like we did in the past. We don't trust the others. Lebanese society is divided along religious lines and has a power-sharing system. Leaders have become stronger than the state by controlling its resources and institutions. The established traditional parties still have a captive constituency. They still offer a series of clientelistic services and patronage and money. Lebanese sectarianism allows them to remain in office. They keep presenting themselves as victims. They keep portraying their opponents as going after their community's rights. Repeated attempts by protesters to bring change were met by violence. In some regions, intimidation and pressure are expected to affect voting. For the past uh, 30 years, a halo of fear for the, for in the South, and people cannot say that they are uh, tired, that, that uh, enough is enough. Confronting the status quo won't be easy. There is a crisis of confidence between the ruling class and the people, but the alternative is divided and weak. And the current system, a state which is now all but absent, means a struggling population becomes more dependent on their leaders. Sunday's election is supposed to be a turning point to set Lebanon on the path of recovery, but many fear nothing will change in the way politicians run this country. Zanahudar Al Jazeera, Beirut.